Something that has been the source of confusion for me for the longest time are the names of Tarkin's ships, because I consistently get them confused with each other. He has owned two Star Destroyers and a Corvette throughout his Imperial service. The Corvette was his own personal ship called the Carrion Spike, and the two Star Destroyers were called Executrix and Sovereign. The Carrion Spike was again a personal ship of Tarkin's, utilized by him during the early years of the Empire. Since it was his own personal ship, it didn't count as his Imperial flagship, which pretty much all Imperial officers had. During this time period, the ship that he did use when serving the Empire and squashing rebel insurgencies was the Executrix, an Imperial Star Destroyer. Uh, assumedly, the Executrix was his flagship, while the Carrion Spike was just his own personal starship. Unfortunately for Tarkin, however, the Carrion Spike was eventually damaged to the point of near destruction in a fight with an early rebel cell, and was hauled off to a repair station. To compensate him for his loss, Emperor Palpatine awarded the Executrix to Tarkin as his own personal ship to replace the Carrion Spike. All of this can be seen in the novel, conveniently named Tarkin. The other Star Destroyer, the Sovereign, was used by Tarkin much later during the era of the Empire. It was most notably seen in the Star Wars Rebels TV show, where it was destroyed by another rebel cell over Mustafar. The Sovereign served as Tarkin's Imperial flagship for an indeterminate amount of time, but I assume that it was placed under Tarkin's command because the Executrix was no longer officially his flagship. So, just to run through the timeline, with both actual sources and a bit of conjecture, Tarkin owned the Carrion Spike as his own personal starship. As an Imperial officer, his Imperial flagship was the Executrix. When the Carrion Spike was heavily damaged in a fight with a rebel cell, the Emperor allowed him to use the Executrix as his own ship, to serve the same functions as the Carrion Spike. Lacking an official Imperial flagship, the Sovereign was placed under his command and stayed under his command until its destruction over Mustafar, five years before the events of Rogue One. I imagine that the reason the Sovereign was placed under his command may have something to do with his actions at Mon Cala, about one year into the reign of Galactic Empire, where the Sovereign was sent to the planet to deal with growing dissension. Commanding the ship were several Imperial officers, one of which included Tarkin, who had been given command of all military actions during the operation. There you go, all of Tarkin's known ships during the Imperial era. The Sovereign was completely destroyed, and the Carrion Spike was very nearly almost destroyed. The Executrix, however, survived under Tarkin's command, that is, until Tarkin died on the first Death Star when that was destroyed. The Executrix was likely recovered and placed in the command of another Imperial officer after Tarkin's death. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video.